All right, guys, Pluskin by 51 millimeter here. Tonight, I have, or this morning rather, I have a very interesting video. I uh, thought about leaving that red background on, but that ain't working too well. Let me change it. There we go. There we go, green. All right, we can see it a little bit better. Um, I had a viewer the other day ask me what the weight of a loaded M1A mag is with a full 20 rounds in it and I searched all over my channel with my phone and I was not able to find who that was that asked it I know they asked it because I responded to them and they replied but I my phone the comment search on it is not as good as it is on desktop so I don't remember who you are who who asked this but I will make this video, and when I find out who it was that posted it, I will uh, link their name or have a like response to so and so. But anyway, I have this uh, electric scale here that I'm borrowing, and I have it calibrated to pounds and ounces, and I will show that it works. I got my K bar short here. I'll set it on. There, so it's 6.0 ounces, K-bar short. Got my loaded, fully loaded 1911 here. And it is 3 pounds, 1.2 ounces. So it is reading pretty, pretty spot on. All right, and I will do this with a loaded M1A mag and an unloaded M1A mag just to show the difference. Okay. First we'll go unloaded M1A mag. All still M1A mag. I don't believe this is a checkmate, but there really isn't much difference. Alright. Set it there. Unloaded and M1A mag is 7.6 ounces. Now let's see how much a loaded M1A mag goes. Alright, got a, another M1A mag here. It is loaded as you can see. I'll set one pound and 3.0 ounces. So there you go. That is how much a loaded M1A mag weighs. It is one pound, three, three ounces. I was going to say, they do have a little heft to them, but now I know myself what exactly they weigh. All right, well, until the next video, guys. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.